Hey guys, and welcome to another KJ's tutorial. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make scrunchies out of bullet or knit material. So this is what they will look like. They are super stretchy and easy to make. I have bullet material here with me today. I have three different prints that I'm just going to show you guys. Um, but it comes in so many different prints. If you guys just ordered off of my buy-in, that stuff will obviously um, take a little bit to come in since the order it just closed this past night. Um, but you guys will not regret it and it's so much fun. So for those of you who already have some at home and want to give this a try, it is super easy. So to begin, you are going to need a piece of material, which I already do have mine pre-cut here. But you are going to need a 2.75 inch by anywhere between 15 to 21 inches long, depending on the size you're trying to make. Now this one is 21 inches long. It is very big on me, but I do have smaller wrists. So for an adult um, that has a bigger wrist, the 21 inches definitely does work great. Um, the one I'm going to do now is 18 inches, just to show you guys a little bit of the size difference. So to find the way that you wanna cut, you have to pull your material both ways. So you always want the stretchy part to be your length when you're making a headband or scrunchies or anything else of the sort. Because if you do your length this way, this is all it is going to pull. So you see here, there is elastic in this, but it still needs that extra stretch. So you always want your length to be the stretchiest. So as you can see, that's not very stretchy that way. So you're gonna go ahead and cut your 15 to 21 inches this way and your 2.75 inches this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side and I will be right back. All right guys, now we're back and you can see here that I have my pre-cut strip of 2.75 inches by 18 inches and I have my fold over elastic here. As you guys know, throughout this entire pandemic, um, regular elastic has been very hard to come by so I decided to use fold over elastic. This is 3 eighths of an inch. This works perfectly fine if you have this on hand or you can always hop over onto my site and purchase this as well. But if you also have quarter inch elastic, even an eighth inch, either or is perfectly fine. All right, so to begin, you're actually going to flip your material to see the wrong side and you're gonna fold this over about like a quarter of an inch. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just around a quarter of an inch. And then you're gonna go ahead and press this with your iron. You want this seam because it's going to be very important for the end. Then once that edge is pressed, you only need one. You will flip it back over and you're going to fold right sides together. So this isn't gonna be perfect because I am gonna hop off when I sew this. And then you can either do a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. So you want this to match as best as can be. And again, just make sure that you back stitch in the back and then the beginning and the end. It can be a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch. It's whichever you prefer. All right, so again, you're gonna go ahead and iron this down and then fold these together once this one side's ironed and then we will be right back. All right, now that this has been sewed, I did forget to mention that you want it to be about like a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So it's not going to be perfect just because this material does move a lot when you put it into a machine, but it's pretty darn close. It is very easy to work with. It just slides a lot. So now what you're going to want to do is you have to flip your material inside out. So there are a couple different tools that you can use for this to make it easier. Some people are old fashioned and they just use a pencil eraser. They just use the pencil and the eraser to push it through. My tool that I usually use, um, it's like a little latch on the end, actually broke. So I'm waiting for a new one to come in. I will post the link to the one that I use, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip this inside out. It is gonna take me a minute just because I don't have my tool, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then hop right back on when I'm done. All right, now that we're done, we're gonna go ahead and put our elastic into our almost scrunchy. So one of my tricks, one of the easiest ways that I like to do it is I use a safety pin. So I'll go ahead and put the safety pin through some of the elastic. Doesn't really matter where, just a little bit up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close it. If I can get it closed, <laughs> there we go. So now it is closed and I'm gonna go ahead and feed it through one side until it gets out to the other. 
It doesn't matter which side that you put it in first. Now a bigger paper clip or safety pin or anything that you decide to use is easier, but this one I had right next to me, so I just decided to use this one. Now you obviously want to make sure that you have a little piece wrapped around your fingers because if you lose that piece, then it kind of defeats the whole purpose. You just keep working that through. All right, so now that we're here, you want to make sure that this is as straight as can be. So it looks like it's twisted here, let's see. It doesn't have to be, it's just something that I'm kind of particular about. All right, and I also like to make sure that my scrunchie here is somewhat even. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is when they're not. So I kind of just make sure that the seam is all facing one way. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take these and we're actually going to overlap them. Like so. So you're going to lose the safety pin now. I don't know why I can't get these things open or closed tonight. All right, there we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and loop this about a half an inch or so, and you're going to go ahead and stitch from here to where it ends back and forth a couple of times. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. All right, now that the fold over elastic is sewn, you're gonna go ahead and use the part that was folded. So here's my folded part and you're going to put the unfolded edge into the folded edge. So I like to match up my seams. So you're going to go just go ahead and fold it right in. It might be a little squished. But that's fine. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to run a stitch back and forth a few times right over here. All right. Alright guys, and then that is it. You just do the seam right down the side. I did it about three times back and forth. And then that is your scrunchie. So this is the 21 inches long scrunchie. So just to show you, this one definitely fits me a lot better. Again, this one was 2.75 inches by 16 inches. And the FOE that I cut inside of it was 6 inches. So here are the two different, and I will lay them out for you guys as well, just to show you guys. And there you go. Super easy and simple, and they are so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any other questions or comments, you can email me or comment below. Please let me know what other tutorials you guys would like me to do. Have a good one, guys.